We're a nonprofit organization. We bring in injured and orphaned animals with the hopes of rehabilitating them to the point where they can be reintroduced back into the wild. And we've got brown bears, black bears, moose, muskox, reindeer, elk, eagles, owls, lynx, caribou, wood bison. We're in the process of reintroducing wood bison back into the wilds of Alaska. Uh, we currently have the only existing herd of wood bison in the United States, and currently we're sustaining their numbers and. Uh, the hope is that spring 2015 we'll get the opportunity to uh, reintroduce them back into the wild. They're the only animal to ever be taken off of the extinction list. They are additionally the largest land animal in the Western Hemisphere, so a very unique Alaskan animal. And we opened breeding this past fall during the rut, and we could expect as many as 50 newborn calves in the spring. Some of the animals actually really like this weather that we're having now, and uh, our muskox in particular really start to blossom a little bit in the winter, and you see some of their personal traits come out a little bit. Um, our bears are still up and active. We've got five adult bears, three brown bears, and two adult black bears. Uh, our black bears are starting to nestle in a little bit for the season, but our brown bears are still quite active. We're open from 10 in the morning until 5 at night until 2014. You can drive around or walk around. It's essentially a two-mile loop that you can make by vehicle or foot. We also do free guided tours uh, at the top of the hour every hour on the weekends for the fall. November 24th, we've got our Thanksgiving with the animals. We'll do whole turkeys with cranberries for the bears. And then our visitor appreciation day is November 30th, and that's free admission to all public. Um, so we'll be closed on Thanksgiving Day, but then following that's free admission for everybody. So come on, come all.